Okay, take two. <laughs> uh, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to a very special episode of the Shipping Forecast. Special in that uh, we've lost Grace briefly, yeah. and also we've had a bit to drink. Uh, yeah, this is it. We're um, Grace is in Greece. Yeah. Um, we also were supposed to be recording uh, something. This weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, This is our usual recording week. Yeah, yeah, this is it. However, Grace booked a surprise holiday to Greece. It was a surprise to her as well, by the sounds of it. Like, she she had a few and just (laughs) booked herself a week in Greece. I mean, good on her. It seems like she needed it because work's been quite stressful. That's it. Just woke up the next morning with Mm -hmm. a hangover having booked a holiday in the sun. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, Grace is in Greece. Um, were these uh, situations where you sometimes do a Chaos episode? I, I guess this is Chaos 3, yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is Chaos 3 because me and Jim can't record a proper Chaos episode because I am currently sat in Jim's sitting room Yeah. on my way to a training course with work mm-hmm. because it turns out that uh, the... The manufacturer I work for need a piece of paper to prove that I can do a job which I've done for 12 years. Can you do it? Uh, I guess I'll find out over the course of next week. <laughs> I wish you well. Good luck. So, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens with that. Yeah. yeah we're, we're both uh, a couple of beers in. We're a couple of beers in. We've just had a kebab mm-hmm. from the new kebab place near me. It was all right. It's not as good as the previous place, I have to say. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Fairly promising. Uh, we realise because it's just two blokes here, we may as well go all in on the standard issue podcast of men doing manly things. We've bought some Prime <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> we were just walking around the local supermarket. We're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, go on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's let's relate to the youth. Yeah. Let's, let's be down with the kids. So we're going to... We're we going do have a fairly try. young audience, so... Yeah, yeah. This we're we're going to relate to them. And um, We've got one red one and one green one. Yeah, one of these is... The green one is lemon lime. Okay. And the, pra, uh, the, the red one... I got disappointed because I saw this from across the room first, and I thought the I thought the flavour was Thunder Punch, which sounds amazing. That sounds way better. Yeah, but this is Tropical Punch, apparently. Mm-hmm. Nick, do you want to face those to me so I can take a photo and send it to Grace? Yeah, while yeah. she's... Uh, Cool. There we go. Cool. And uh, let me just message her saying, "This is content now. <laughs> this is our content. This is what we do without you." <laughs> yeah, this is our filler episode. This is where we are without you. Yeah, literally ten to fifteen minutes of two grown men sat around. Come back, prime. <laughs> Come back, oh. or else I sing next time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good cool. Grief. I know. I know you don't pay me, but no. Whatever it would, whatever it would be, if you did pay me, it would. I mean, with this. I'm paying you in. You wouldn't get to lose your dignity like this any other way. You're paying me in exposure. Exactly, exposure to teen culture. Yes. So, do you have any preference between tropical punch and lemon lime? Um, I have no preference. Okay. Uh, like I reckon they're, I reckon they're all going to be as, uh, they're, they're both going to be as gross as each other. I'm leaning towards tropical punch. Okay. Can you pass me the tropical punch? Because if I move, I'm going to knock over this microphone again. Yep, have a look at that. <sighs> you have a look at that. Let's just... i tell you what, since we're... You know what, let's, let's do some story time. Back in the day, back when we were teens, when we couldn't afford Red Bull, there was this lovely little drink mm. that we called Emerge. Oh, Emerge. I say we called it Emerge. That's what it was called. I think it's still out there. It is still out there, but the bottles are different because I... They used to come in an opaque silver um, mm-hmm. bottle, um, which had a red and silver label, and um, yeah, so it, I, I, it looked like a bottle of engine oil, like a, a, an old style bottle of engine oil, but it, it was Emerge, and we used to buy this stuff. It was four, by the liter, four cans for one pound. Yeah, I remember. Or like a, you could get like because a bottle at lunch when well. we were at school, you could just walk into the village. Mm. We'd we'd go to a lovely little sandwich shop called Richie's, which is no longer there. We'd go buy our cans of Emerge, and it would feel like alcohol for the most part, because <laughs> because we were fifteen and we didn't know any better. Yeah, it, it always felt like something you weren't supposed to be bringing back to school. Exactly. Yeah. And then we'd spend 
the last two hours of, of school just buzzed on energy drinks. So we can relate to the kids, is what we're saying. I yeah, guess. like I don't understand the the hype around this. It's uh, let's have a look at the can. Um, we'll uh, yeah, we'll just have a look at the can because we are trying to uh, spin this out into like fifteen twenty minutes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay. We we can come up with more content other than reviewing Prime. But, um, yeah, here we go. So one hundred and forty milligrams of caffeine. Is that a little? Is that a lot? I, d- um, I mean, I've got some, I've got some monster in the kitchen. I can compare to that. Yeah, I mean, it's zero sugar and it's vegan, apparently. Okay. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and I don't That's... know what that logo is. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that that my friend is what the kids call TikTok. Ah, I see. God, we're we're old. We are. You are old. old. Yeah, I recognise the logo. We are terribly <laughs> old. Okay, so um, yeah, again, I could read the nutritional information, but it means nothing for me. There's no gluten in it, which is good. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. Bottoms I, up. I've put this. I put this off. Yeah. For too I've long. Already spilled a little bit, actually. <laughs> off to, I've only had two drinks. I'm not even that drunk. It's... Okay. Let's. Okay. Cheers. Down the hatch. It's not great. It's just a shit 7-Up. That's the flavour, yeah. Like, this is what mine tastes like. Okay, it's just a, do you want to uh, extend I can pour you some. Like a, a shit lilt or a shit 7-Up. Yeah, we'll do that, hang on. Right. Enjoy the tropical. No, it's like sort of cloudy lemon. It does, l- yeah. I was yeah. expecting a much more uh, chemical colouring to these. Now we've poured them into a glass. That doesn't smell great. This is the worst wine tasting I've ever been to. So I personally prefer the red one. That's like a mangoey, passiony fruit thing. Yeah. Yeah. The this. It's Seven Up, isn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely getting the Seven Up vibe. Yeah. It's like less fizzy, less carbonated Seven Up. Yeah. I don't think I'd buy this again. Um. Yeah, I think this is uh, another victory. Uh, I think this is another victory. Of marketing over actual substance. Absolutely. Yeah. Which does explain how it went from being sold out in all of the shops and being incredibly hyped up to we could just find it. Yeah. There was like, um, you could have it in cans or bottles. Uh, there were at least two pallets of the stuff in uh, in the Morrisons near where Jim lives. Mm-hmm. So, oh, it's very gassy as well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to continue. I think I might move back to my cider. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's definitely not going to win any taste test awards. No. I. How would you rank it compared to Emerge? Because I think it might have the edge on Emerge. It was also... Oh, though it was a lot more expensive. Yeah. It's, it, it's if, you re- if you really want a caffeine high for very little money, I still think Emerge has the edge. Yeah, it is. It does taste better than Emerge. Uh, like, Emerge was quite harsh. It tastes yeah. like you would expect an energy drink to taste. Exactly. Yeah, this one, this yeah. one doesn't. It's a bit softer. Mm. But yeah, I don't get the hype. But then again, I don't understand the hype. But we TikTok we are in our thirties. Yes. So and it is actually a YouTuber that started this, not a TikToker. It, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I I knew that much. Okay. Good. Yeah. I'm never sure to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just relieved I don't have to explain the internet. <sighs> It's just any technology which I can't fix with a hammer. It's alien and confusing to me. That's a lot of technology. So, yeah. In fact, that's a lot of the technology that you claim to be able to fix with a hammer <laughs> that you shouldn't be fixing with a hammer. Like what? Cars, to be honest. Cars with hammers. You shouldn't. You should. Really? Yeah. That is, for something that expensive, that doesn't seem like it should be the solution to everything. It's not to everything, admittedly. Okay. But- some jobs do require a hammer. Oh, God. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> TVs, computers, keep keep them away from hammers. So, yeah, th- um, there we have it. Um, I mean, it wasn't on my bucket list. I no. had <laughs> no intention of trying this uh, trying this energy drink because, of course... Yeah, that was disappointing. Yeah, you don't believe the hype. Uh, but, yeah, there it is. Now you've listened to two 30-something-year-olds... I know, right? Taste prime energy drink. I don't really have a pivot for this. Uh, <laughs> what What do you want to do? Um, we've got options. Okay. We could either go to WikiHow or Quora and do life advice. 
Or, or we could go to AO3 and find some niche fandoms that we've not covered but want to. I kind of feel like doing life advice. Okay. Um, like, yeah. Because, I mean, my other suggestion, this, with Grace not here, this is our opportunity to do a Farscape episode. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'll, I'll have a look, because I don't think there's much. Mm. For listeners at home, uh, go watch Farscape. Yeah. It's... it's Great sci-fi from the mid two thousands, yeah, early two thousands, I should say. Uh, it, it holds up. Uh, most of the aliens were done by um, Jim Henson's son, and um, yeah, all really good puppetry. Still looks good today. Yeah, it does. Uh, Claudia Black was my first crush, unabashedly, and I'm not afraid to admit I still simp for her to, yeah. to this day. Yeah. I, I I could definitely see the appeal. You you heard it here first. Um, yeah. I was funny funny story at work. I was talking to my boss the other day. He's not my boss. He's sort of kind of he's quite senior compared to me. Okay. And we were just sat talking, and then he mentioned having an unabashed crush on Chiana from Farscape. Yeah. I was just like, hey, my man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can I can see that. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I I get it. Blue but... ladies. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we do we do have a choice. We can either do um We actually have advice. a third option. So I took a photo of, of us with the prime cans and I sent it to Grace. Okay. And she asked what's going on. I said filler content. And she has said two cans of prime and a rap battle. So option three <laughs> option three is we have a rap battle. <laughs> we're not have we're not doing that. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm creative enough to do a rap. I don't think I'm. Cre- I don't think I've got enough tune in me. Yeah, <laughs> to... no, not not at all. Like I can learn to say words fast, but it takes me weeks. <laughs> There's a lot more to rap than talking fast. I know. <laughs> um... Okay, let's do life advice because pretty much every podcast involving blokes is life advice. So yeah, um, we can save the Farscape episode for another day when Honestly, Grace is here. Yeah, Farscape it would be more fun with Grace here because then she gets to suffer. Yes. So 100%. you know, oh, this is a this is an opportune moment to do an update on the show format. Incidentally, I think Farscape's safe. There's strikes going on in the U.S. as ah. we record, as you know, as most of our listeners will know, because it's being covered everywhere. Yeah. Uh, one of our neighboring podcasts is has opted just to not cover any content as part of the anything. Oh, what's the word? Is there anything involving the um, blacklisted companies? That's yeah, the one. The blacklisted companies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're being gonna struck against. We're gonna do the same. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot more anime in the next few months. Probably video games. Unless... Br- uh, British things, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's gonna be difficult because um, Good Omens is a co-production of both Amazon and the BBC. It is. Yeah. And while the BBC is not on the blacklist, Amazon is. Hmm. So we're not going to be talking about Good Omens for a bit. Yeah. Sorry, Neil. I'm sure you understand. W- w- was he over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'd, I'd just point, I'd, I don't... Normally I've got a screen to look f- towards, so I'm just like, eh. So, <laughs> Sorry. Um, to, to Neil, who, is... Neil, who's here in the studio, are you... <laughs> 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 we're replacing Grace. <laughs> No, that would be a turn. Oh, sorry, Grace. I know you agree. We decided Neil Gaiman is much better. <laughs> is a much better fit for our show. It's going to be all blokes now. Uh, <laughs> he's just going to chat. <laughs> so to to paint a picture for uh, for the listeners' benefit, um, I am sat on uh, James's sofa, opposite from James himself. Yeah. Um, when he said that bit about Neil, he sort of pointed, pointed and nodded to the doorway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was actually aiming for the microphone. To be fair, but. <laughs> Oh, good grief, yeah. Okay. Neil Gaiman, he's in the studio with mm-hmm. us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll we'll be avoiding probably most Western media, for the most part. Like, like BBC exclusive things, Merlin is probably safe, I think. I don't know, I'll look into it. Hmm. But if something's blacklisted, no, we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, which, which is, yeah, fair enough. Which means Nick is going to have to learn a lot about anime. And maybe stop talking about trains as well. That's not going to happen, we know. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, let's do life advice. I've opened Quora.com. Oh. Because that's a new exciting website that we don't go to very often. And the first thing I see on the homepage is actually perfect for you, Nick. Oh, okay. So the question asked on Quora, 
for those who don't know Quora, it's kind of Poundland Yahoo Answers. Yeah. Like, it's sort of the worst Yahoo Answers. God, I miss that website. It was unhinged. And every now and again, I'll just get an email from Quora with just a weird unhinged question. I don't know at what point I signed up for them, but I'm glad I did because I get <laughs> all yeah. kinds of weird things. Yeah. And on the homepage, I've got, what's wrong with today's generation? <laughs> Well, it's the problem with the, today's generation, with the TikToks and the big skateboarding shoes and the prime energy drinks and the... <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, wow. Um, what is wrong with today's generation? Um, they've inherited a lot of shit from the previous generation. They've got a lot of rough shit that is not our fault, but the generation before us is fault. Yes. Uh, yeah. They've inherited a dying planet where everything's expensive n- and nothing works right. This is getting really dark. Isn't yeah, it? let's let's get <laughs> off this one. Uh, can we offer some hope for the future? Um, you know what? Yeah, I can. Um, I mean, my our generation, as as people in our thirties now, millennials, mm. we had a hard time dealing with right wing lunatics. But most, pretty much all our generation are generally pro LGBT. Yes. So by the time we're in our 70s, and by the time the kids these days are the adults, most of the nut jobs, most of the nut jobs will be dead. Yeah, outdated so. attitudes do tend to die with exactly. the people who have them. Uh, and so. in terms of political values, I've got a lot of hope for the young kids. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. That's my optimism. Yeah, this this is the thing. So long as we can uh, defeat the taters and people of of their ilk, we should be fine. As long as you don't be a dick. Yeah. And, yeah, as long as we leave incels as a thing in the past, mm-hmm. I think we'll turn out all right. Yeah, tips to live by. Perfect. Okay, what else we got? Uh, I mean, I'm um, on WikiHow at the minute. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm just going to pick a, a random article, um, and uh, we won't do any of the uh, the sort of visual things, because, of course, this we is are not a podcast. visual medium. Yep. Uh, okay, so... The seven new love languages explained. Okay, love. Okay, let me go with this. So, oh, hang on. Can, I'm gonna pull up the uh, the actual love languages so I know what the seven new. So I know what isn't one of the new ones. I know touch is a love language. I thought it was like you know French. Okay, so the, the official five love. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> You know, you can you can flirt better in French. You just can't. I, I don't think you can. No, you can't. <laughs> no, because... <laughs> it's all the, you know, all the... Sort of, it, it sounds better than... All right, love. <laughs> I think it depends you know on I mean? the accent. No, okay, think, think of it this way. How many... There's a lot of hot British men in Hollywood these days. Like, a lot of the... Tum- Are you familiar with the term Tumblr sexy man? I'm guessing... I'm not familiar with the term, but let me guess who... Who fits that bill? Okay. Benedict Cumberbatch. Yes. David Tennant. Yes. Um, the guy who plays Loki, who yes. never escapes me. Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston, that's the badger. Um, yeah, people like that. They're all three top Tumblr sexy men. Also, Tom Holland. Yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. British. There's also, I mean, there's other Tumblr sexy men who aren't British, but... A lot of them are Brits. Okay, so British and, if you have a posh accent. But none of them are French. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, think the spy it. might count as a Tumblr sexy man, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> he's not actually French. <laughs> that accent's <laughs> sketchy as fuck. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, it, it only really works if you're not Northern, if you're not from the Midlands, if you're not from Scotland. A lot so, of sex he's got. David Tennant. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. The five actual love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, physical touch, acts of service, and receiving gifts. Mm. Come on, wiki how, what are the new ones? I think... Um, I, I, I was going to just make them up. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure, let's, let's make up some new love languages. Okay, we've got seven to go. Okay, so, um, eating takeaway together in bed... Realising you've both sort of given up all sense of pretense and have just become actual gremlins. Ah, living in your own filth. Yes, living yes. in your own filth. Let me write these down. I think we're on to something here. Yeah, living we, in your own We filth. could write a self-help help book one day. That first 
special fart. New love language. Hang on. That you dare to do in front of your partner. I think that's, yeah, living in your own filth. <laughs> living in mutual filth, living, I think. Yeah, living in mutual filth. Living in mutual filth. Um, swearing at each other. Um, knowing that you will still love each other at the end of the day. All right, yeah, bickering. Bickering. Yeah, because me and Sophie bicker constantly. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Mutual bickering. Um, God, I, I don't know. I'm not the best person to ask for this sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't the best. Uh, this isn't the best life advice program. Oh, out there. we are the worst life. Advice. <laughs> no, actually, there are definitely worse life advice people out there. There is, but we're okay. We have no qualifications, and we know it. Yeah, yeah. Please take any advice that we give with a pinch of salt. I would rate us higher than Andrew Tate. Yeah, fair enough. So we've got two new love languages: <laughs> living in mutual filth and mutual bickering. Mm-hmm. Um, telepathy. <laughs> So, that sounds silly, but do you know what I mean when I write telepathy? Uh, okay. what the other's thinking. So, when you're out with Sophie, hypothetically, yeah. you're, out about, you're, you're, you're having dinner together. Yeah. You're, you're at a romantic restaurant, and she says, no, I don't want any chips. She absolutely wants chips. But you know yeah. that she wants chips, because you've, you know the language. You've read her mind. Yeah. And you know she's going to want some chips, otherwise she's going to steal mine. Actually, we do do that. But yeah. Mostly, it's the other way around. It's the telepathy. Yeah, like when mm-hmm. I drive past a skip, she often. <laughs> when... All right. Stick with me on this. Okay. <laughs> when when I drive past a skip, she automatically says no because I mean you can't help but look, can you? You just you just have a quick look, see if there's anything useful they've thrown out in there, anything interesting. Oh God. You know. <laughs> mm, yeah, I guess that fits in the <laughs> telepathy. So okay, so you got you got the. We've got three new love languages. Yeah, you got the telepathy. WikiHow wants seven. WikiHow wants seven. Yeah. Um, Pranks. But, yeah. No explanation needed. Yeah, no explanation. I'd, I'd, needed. In fact, I would say this is perhaps the most ingrained method of flirtation that you can do, because even from a young age, you know the best way to get a girl's attention is to pull her hair yeah. and call her Smelly McFarterson. Yeah, give her a dead leg. Yeah. No. Every that is ingrained into every human being from when they are born. Yeah, yeah. That is the most primal, dedicated love language. Yeah. Pranks. We got this. We got pranks. Oh, three more. Shit. Handbrake turns. That's not a love language. <laughs> the thing is, it's one of those things that men think is a love language, but women oh, don't. Oh, are we doing things that men think are love languages? <laughs> Fine. Negging. That's on the No, neg- negging's terrible. Don't do yeah, that's negging. Like, a lot of men think it is a love language. It's not, to be clear. Yeah, it isn't. Don't do negging. It's Fine. awful. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, re- I'll remove negging from the list. Okay, that still leaves us with three. Yeah. Handbrake turns, though. No, that's not a love language. Yeah, it isn't, but still. <laughs> I'm not writing down handbrake turns in our love language. No longer keeping track of... Oh, shit, no, I've got a way better one. Sending memes... Yes. Yeah, sending memes. My rule of thumb, you n- we're, we're going to do relationship advice now. My my gut feeling, my rule of thumb for if you know you've met the one, when you see a funny meme, mm. if your immediate thought is, I've got to send it to that person. Yes. That's it. That's how you know that it's love. Yeah. And if they do the same, there you go. Okay. So, is that two more? Uh, Yeah, I think so. All right, then. Um... Two more. Feeling comfortable, at- ah, absolutely ah. destroying their toilet. Dest- <laughs> <sighs> feeling comfortable shitting in their house. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, my the previous love of my life, um, <laughs> the first time she stayed over, she destroyed my toilet. <laughs> the first time. The first, yeah, we, a month in. Excellent. Mortified. <laughs> She was. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and I did have a really good idea, but you've made me forget. Oh. Ah. The sense of guilt when you've watched ahead on a show that you agreed to sit and watch with her. Oh, yeah. Slash him. Yeah. Your significant other. Works for video games too. Works for video games yeah. too. Sense of guilt for watching TV. Yeah. TV show guilt. Okay. Right. 
I, we've bent the rules on what counts as a love language here quite extensively. <laughs> I'm surprised they're not broken. Like if if um if we've bent the rules, they're now in a horseshoe shape. What does WikiHow have? Let's um, see. Let's see how their list matches up to ours. Okay, so first one is activity. What? Um, you feel most loved and valued when you spend time doing activities with your partner. Hang on. Hang on. I mean, living in your own filth is an activity. That's just quality time. Yeah. From the original list of five. Yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake, wiki hell. Um, this is... So the second one is appreciation. Okay. Um, emotional. Okay. Mm. Financial. Yeah, I guess. If your love language is financial, you feel valued and special when your partner spends money on you. I mean, who doesn't? <sighs> yeah. You like that goes for when anyone spends money. Yeah. That's... <sighs> it's like, it even it doesn't even have to be like a massive amount. Like, um, Sophie once got home from... She collects these crystal things. She's not like a, a woo girl or anything like that. It's just... <laughs> and a woo girl... <laughs> You, you know what I mean. Who wants this? No, you know what I mean. It's all that fucking Paltrow stuff about so, putting crystals inside. Would you say she's more of an oh whoa girl? <laughs> I will not let you derail this. <laughs> if she had notices your bulgy wulgy girl. <laughs> uh, I'm just not going to fucking go home at this rate. Um, I'll just stay in the hotel and just refuse. I'll to wait till you're home before I upload this episode. Oh, for God's sake. Um. So, yeah, basically, she likes to collect crystals. Not because she thinks they have any sort of special powers, but because... Because she's a math addict. Go on. No, yeah, she's a shiny object. She's a math okay. addict. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, they, they look nice. Got you. Well, anyway, she um, just bought me a small stone. A small green stone. I can't remember what it's made of. It's <laughs> supposed to represent happiness. Okay. Um, and I still have it in my wallet. I just what, thought. Yeah, what it's, shape is it? It's it's just round. It's just a stone. Okay. It's not does, a pyramid. Does it have I like don't a base. Put it up myself. Okay. No. <laughs> it's small enough to fit in my wallet. <laughs> well, if it's small enough, to fit, it's a travel <laughs> one. Clearly. I mean, don't get me wrong. That part of my anatomy has, and probably always will, remain as an exit. But <laughs> I think I'd need something a little bit bigger before I'd be able to feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Make it something big before you can feel anything. Oh, for crying! Oh it was dear! A, it was a mistake coming here. Wasn't it? <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, okay, so we've we've got financial. Okay. Intellectual. Yeah. The love language involves a meeting of the minds. You value. So, so this is the love language of the the um. What's the word? The international thief and the detective playing chess yes. constantly at each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. How do you play chess at somebody? Uh, are you familiar with chess boxing? No. That's a real thing. I see. It's actually I'd say it's more interesting than chess because So you alternate, you do like a round of chess, and then you punch the shit out of each other. Oh. Then nice. you do another round of chess. Yeah. And you keep and you get worse at chess as you go on because you've just been punching each other in the face. Brains and brawn. Yeah. I quite like it. Yeah, have a look. Chess boxing. Uh, okay, so number six is physical. Yeah, uh, that's obvious. Yeah. And number seven is practical. Ah, yes. Yeah. I love someone who can put up some shelves for me. Yeah, this is it. If You, you feel most love when your partner helps you in practical ways, like doing jobs, offering favours, making your daily load a little lighter. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a bit on history here. There's an expert Q and A, but there's no questions or answers yet. Oh, so <laughs> I should pull up some more Quora stuff. Come to think of it, the next, the next article in the "You Might Also Like" section is how to impress a girl with words. Uh. <laughs> Photosynthesis, <laughs> flocking orchifilification, anti-disestablishmentarianism. <laughs> yeah, you are fucking. That's number wang. <laughs> do, do, <laughs> rotate the book. That will only mean things to our British listeners. <laughs> no wait, maybe it's like um, maybe it's like when you were a kid and uh, when you were a kid and you were you thought you were big and hard because you started swearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh dear. Oh, wiki hell. Um, Ooh, Cora. What are some mind blowing facts you have ever come? What are some of the mind blowing facts that you have ever come across? That's the grammar in this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I can't do that one here because it needs. It's got a visual thing. <laughs> I'll just show Nick this picture though. This portrait of someone just. <laughs> Is that, hang on a minute. I, I can't see that from over there. Oh, I'm sorry. My eyes are bad. There's, oh, okay, yeah. There's just a, a It's man. a man, yeah. There's a woman walking the streets of Paris. Uh, she's hold, got a baby. She's got a boob out. And this man has stuck his neck out of his prison bars to uh, have a sample. Yeah, there, there is a, a man in a prison sucking the tit of a, of a lady. There. Yeah, apparently. This is based on a true story. That's the fun fact. <laughs> that's yeah, uh-huh. that's that's Quora. You are locked in a bunker without internet for a year. You can only choose one video game to take with you. What game do you choose? Fallout New Vegas. Didn't even have to think. I'd actually say Skyrim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because the thing Skyrim has over New Vegas is it's got requ- it's got quests. It's got procedurally generated quests. Yeah. So you you physically cannot run out of Skyrim. It will just keep going. Well. To be fair, we're already halfway there, considering it's now being ported to the pocket calculator. Exactly. And the, I don't know, the the fucking Commodore 64. You cannot run out of Skyrim. Yeah. And presumably you won't be able to run out of Starfield either. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it is, um, I I don't know, I I could just play New Vegas forever. Like, I still do playthroughs of it now. I think after a year, with nothing but the bunker, I I think I'd run out of Vegas. Hmm. But I don't think I could run out of Skyrim. Yeah, I suppose it, it may just, just be because I've got the Skyrim map on that po- on my wall there. Yeah, one you can think of. Yeah, if yeah. I have a future game, Starfield, because it'll be even bigger. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the um, uh, the only one I could think of. Oh, is is New Vegas? I don't think there's anything else that can capture my attention. Loophole. There. They just said game. Oh, without internet, piss. Ah. I was gonna say World of Warcraft because well, then you, yeah because then you've got a social aspect as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, that's not an option. Uh, the person on Quora said Crusader Kings 2. Never played it? No. Never heard of it. Aha, uh-huh. the top voted answer was Skyrim. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was expecting Minecraft, to be honest. Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, yep, solid choice. Mm-hmm. Civ 5. Um, Fallout 4. Yeah. Like, most people have gone for something Todd Howard had his hands in. Yeah, something big and time sinky. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I believe the Earth is flat because there haven't, there has never been a photo of a round Earth. How do scientists feel about this? But there has. <laughs> There's been many. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly every space mission Bro. up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a whole section for debunking flat Earth. They're all fake. Every single one. <laughs> every single tiny yeah. part of the Earth in space is fake. Okay, I'm just going to read through some of these Flat Earth ones. Oh, no. If the Earth spins, then why isn't everyone dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> Checkmate, atheists. According to... F- oh, 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 this... I'm actually interested in this one. Has, okay. any, has anyone responded? According to Flat Earthers, what causes nighttime? Do, do you have anything? <laughs> or you, you look so confused. Space magic. Uh, the flat Earth maps I have seen show the sun as a moving spherical lamp. Moon tar. <laughs> no, it's it's a lamp that just it goes under the Earth. So so basically, the Earth is flat, but things still orbit the Earth. Yep, things only one thing orbits the Earth. By the way, just, just the sun. Just the moon orbits. I'm so I'm saying in real life. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, well, the, yeah, the moon orbits the Earth, but yeah, yeah, in the flat Earth universe, it would be just the sun. And, and maybe the moon. Oh, it, it is just... So, I've got a theory about flat earthers. Okay. Right? And I believe in, in the the very safe, very staid um, version of modern life, which ex- exists for many of us. Like, we don't have hardship, we don't have war, we don't have... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Flat earth is... It's a way of being different. It's adding dragons to the map. Yes. Because... Uh, it, it's really boring now to solve things. Yeah. And honestly, I'm kind of envious of Flat Earthers. Like, I'd love to be able to believe in something. So, 
bonkers. This is the thing. I think the the vast like. I the, bet they're a lot happier than the average scientist. I, th- I think they probably are. Yeah, because you know, ignorance is bliss. There'll be a few sort of uh, diehards who do genuinely believe that the world is flat, but the vast majority of flat earthers just want to be different and unique and have something which uh, singles them mm. out. From See, them. I'm not sure. I feel like there's. I feel like there's a sense of belonging to the Flat Earth community. That as well. So it's not about being different so much as it's about finding a community of people who also believe things with you. Yeah, but it's it's in such a different way. You, because you, you can make yourself believe that you're, uh, you know this sort of great or noble truth. And uh, you know you and only your, your friends know about it. Yeah. And then you can, you know, I don't know, laugh at or try to educate the normies. Yeah. And I'd go as far as to say there'd probably be less flat earthers if it wasn't for the flat earth community. Yeah. Like I th- I think the average flat earther would look into it and go, "Eh, no, that's rubbish." But because they meet people, they have a social life which they probably didn't have previously. They probably yeah. get involved and they're like, "Oh, this is nice. I've got people around me." Yeah. And then then you just get into it. And that's it. It's my if, opinion. Even if the uh I suppose it is like having a hobby with a social side. Exactly. Like, you know, model railwaying or classic cars or LARPing or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, it's, LARPing it's looks so much fun. That's it. It's something that um it's something that the the general populace, not everybody does. So it does make you a little bit sort of special and unique and there's other people out there who are just as special and just as unique as you. Exactly. With similar sort of interests. But yeah, I mean I, I just don't know how people can ignore the evidence of their own eyes in such a way. Yeah, it's. I think it takes a lot of belief, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of belief and a lot of ignorance. God, that's a heavy one. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, this is this is too deep for two beers in. Exactly. What can I do to make an extra one k pounds a month without getting a second job? Drug dealing. This one is promoted, incidentally. Prostitution. <laughs> that is not on this list. <laughs> and also not something anyone should recommend. No. Um, there's getting paid for testing apps. There's just do surveys. <laughs> not drug... You can't make 1k a month from surveys. No, I doubt it. Nobody would work. Yeah. And just sit at, sit at home filling surveys out for eight hours a day. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that one was sponsored, so I don't really believe that that's hmm. accurate. I've seen a couple of these now. My daughter is 17. She gets straight A's and is in honor class. She loves to play video games, but I only let her play for 30 minutes a week. She always complains. How do I get her to stop? 30 minutes a week? 30 minutes a week. I play about an hour to two hours a night. Yeah. I sort of leave myself time at the end of every day to be like, right, I need to get through my JRPG backlog. Let's this, this crack is down. The thing. Like, I have entire weekends where I do nothing else but play video games. Mm. And that hasn't really changed throughout my life. Ever since I discovered the PS2, yeah, I've always, you know, had at and least again, one to two hours a night. She's seventeen and she's doing very well. Let her play video games. Yeah, like thirty minutes a week is not enough. Exactly, and there's social aspects to it as well that she's probably missing out on. Yeah, exactly. Don't be that kind of parent. No, I think none of our listeners would be. But today's no. top tip. Yeah, just let them live. Let them play video games. Ah. Bill Gates hands you his credit card and says, grab me a Snickers and get something for yourself. What are you buying? A Snickers. As in, to get something for yourself as well. Well, yeah, but like... You're uh, also getting a Snickers. You've been given Bill Gates' bank card. (laughs) The thing is, if I was given Bill Gates' bank card, I would probably be some... I'd probably just run, to be honest. Yeah, I know, but like, if you if you were okay, all right. Say I was rich. Say I was as rich as Bill Gates. Okay. And I gave you my bank card. Yep. What are you buying? Uh, a new identity in the Cayman Islands, with your bank card, and living out the rest of my days. Yeah, I know. Being filthy rich. That's, no, that's that's fair enough, right? If I had like, if I was expecting you to do that, but say. <laughs> If he, if you're running to the shop, are you just expecting? Is Bill Gates just expecting you to come back with like I don't know, a a, a chocolate bar for for yourself? I mean, it sounds it. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, if <laughs> I don't, 
I'm just curious what everyone else on here has said. I, I don't know. To, to be clear to the listeners, if if I was as rich as Bill Gates, like my friend's mortgages at least would be paid. Oh, absolutely. You know, and and then some. But uh, yeah. If I suddenly had Bill Gates's credit card, yeah. But look, yeah, that pay is... mortgages, retire comfortably. Yeah, like he. he if I, even if I did have that kind of money, like, I'd rather they ask me first. Yeah. You know, it's like, yo, can I get a, I don't know, an £80,000 BMW? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, go for it. I think I'd be offended if one of my friends was Bill Gates and he didn't offer well, to just pay that. I mean, with, with Bill Gates' money. Yeah. When you could do that as, and not even feel it. This this is the thing. If you could, like, just write off a £100,000, £120,000 mortgage. So a lot of people have said Teslas. Oh, why? I know, right? And to be clear, Nick hated Teslas before it was cool. The, yes, I did. Um, just to get in on that. The the thing is, I um I thought they were promising when they were building the the Roadster out of the uh, the Lotus Elise, their sort of very first car. But nowadays, there are better built electric cars out there. Yeah, like Tesla's qu- quality control. That's what I keep control. hearing is atrocious, and I, I do not have a thing against electric cars, which might surprise people. I mean, I think they're dull as fuck. They're not, they're not for me. They're, they're just, you know, they're, they're just not for me. They're not what I want to be driving around in if I can help it. But I realise that they make sense for a lot of people, but for fuck's sake, there's, there are better built electric cars out there, which are just as cool. Look at the stuff that, Hi, uh, that High and I are doing. The Ionic 5 looks amazing. It looks like Something that you could drop into the into the the set of Cyberpunk seven, uh, 2077, which is in my mind how electric cars should look. Yeah. And, but the better built, the, the high end eyes, the bomb proof. I, yeah. Someone here on Quora has given the most Sigma male answer that I could possibly dream up. Okay. I would hand back the card and tell Bill, "Don't worry, I got it." Wow. <laughs> 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 God damn it! <laughs> That's almost like no. I'd give him ten pound to motivate myself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get this one. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, Bill. <laughs> this one's on me. <laughs> Don't be daft. <laughs> oh Jesus, wept. Um. I mean, yeah, that is the most Sigma male answer, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so silly. Uh, that, toffee either, that toffee apple cider is going down yeah, far too well. Yeah, we're drinking Brothers Toffee Apple Cider today. It's very good. I couldn't drink more than one. Yeah. The Shipping Forecast, sponsored by Brothers Cider. Yeah, today's, this is beer reviews, or mm. cider reviews today yeah. so far. Nick also tried his first l- bottle of Lilies today. Well... It wasn't my first bottle of Lilies. I had okay. Lilies before, like just the standard cider. Um, but they call it Collider, which is cola cider. Yes, that's extremely dangerous. Like I'd, I'd compare it to the alcoholic dandelion of Burdock, which I tried. It mm-hmm. tastes like a soft drink, but gets you drunk like cider. Yeah, yeah, it's dangerous stuff. Incidentally, I'd quite like another one. Would you like one? Oh yeah, go on then. Yeah, back uh, up here. Yeah, just bring me something from the fridge. I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, have a broadside. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. So, my 18-year-old son won't eat hot dogs. He says he doesn't like them. How do I get him to eat what is put in front of him? Don't cook him hot dogs. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a strange one because it's normally like, oh, my son doesn't like vegetables, or. Yeah, how do I get him to eat his greens? No, hot dogs. <laughs> One of the least <laughs> healthy foods available. <laughs> like, um, I can, I can just, oh god, I can just imagine. He, he just sat around the family dinner table. Mum, I don't want to eat this. But what do you like? But I like cabbage. I'm not doing <laughs> you cabbage. You under this roof, young man, you will eat hot dogs. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, incidentally, uh, I've gone right back to well, Newcastle uh, Brown. Yeah, it's Classic. not my, not quite my childhood, but my formative drinking years. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've gone back to uh, good old Newquay Brown. <laughs> Still as good now as it ever was. Okay, these, this is an other. Oh, there are five answers. Why does President Poopy Pants Joe want to destroy this country? 
I'm sensing some bias politically from that question. If you... <laughs> yeah, go complain about it on Quora. That'll fucking show them. There's also... <laughs> these two were paired. The one next to it is, what do you feel about former President Donald Trump being indicted over classified documents? I mean, yeah, if he did it. Yeah. <laughs> Which he, it seems like he did, because he's on tape saying he did it. <laughs> well, this is it. Like, there's no smoke without fire, is I there? I know. You know. Have you looked into it instead? No, honestly. There's I... even a tape of him saying, these are documents I have that are classified. <laughs> I shouldn't be holding these. <laughs> I could get in trouble if I showed you them. Ooh. <laughs> like, it's so open and shut. <laughs> it is. It is just... There's a lot of bizarre things going on in the world, and um, like one of the biggest ones was somebody like that ever becoming president. I'm not even sure there is an answer to this one yet. I, I don't see any. Well, but there are recommended ones, and one of them is uh, oh, where, I've lost it now. Why did it only take one year for Joe to singly single-handedly destroy this country? So <laughs> I can't help but notice you've still got a country, <laughs> my dudes. So the last. The last I the last I um I heard their sissies were pretty much still standing. Last I checked. Yeah, like there are there is still a semblance of civilization. They do have a lot of potholes. Yeah, like they do have a lot of potholes. They do have a lot of um, gun crime, but we won't go into that. Um, that's not that doesn't really fit my definition of destroyed. No. <laughs> no. Like last I checked they're still the top economy. <laughs> this this is the thing like destroyed would be like Coventry was in the 1940s leveled just not a building standing. Like several parts of Ukraine right now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like <laughs> don't get into politics. Yeah, we're, we're going to move away from this but it's a, wow. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's, it's a whole other thing and there's no there's no correct answer. Just not that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the most incorrect it's of the, such an image, the answers out there. Like, of all the things you could call someone, Joe Poopy Pad Spider. <laughs> <laughs> I see the claim in the intellectual high ground. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My teenage son was caught buying food at 1am. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know, feed him. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't stealing it, was he? No. It's like going up and going up to a, an all-night convenience shop and I mean, just it's, it's... paying money for food. It's just a normal <laughs> thing that people do. It's probably not the best food you can get, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> like, does it go into detail or is it just that question? I want, I it's want just, another backstory behind this. It's it's just it's just that question. Like the top answer is let him eat it. He's well, obviously hungry. Yeah, this is it. Like um, I, I just like how it doesn't go into detail. Like I mean, fair enough. If he's if he's meant to be watching his weight and his calorie intake, then that might be an issue. But it, there's just no explanation. <laughs> last, last I checked, there weren't any foods you could buy. You, the, 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 there weren't any foods that you had to be 18 to buy. Uh, no. Booze, yes. Oh, oh um, chocolate liqueur. Cho- uh, chocolate liqueur. I can't even say that word. Chocolate liqueurs. That's the one. Really? I'd have thought so. That's interesting. Because, I mean, if, if they're that high alcoholic content, I would have thought you'd be ID'd for them. I know, but like. I think you'd have to eat several boxes before. Even so. Like, put it this way, the effects of having a full stomach would so, probably get you before, well before you got drunk. I was in a shop the other day, and a girl got id The girl in front of me got ID'd for buying fake nails. Fake nails? Because okay. of the glue. Really? Yeah. What, kids are buying fake nails to sniff the glue? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> But uh, I'm I'm am sorry. Solvent abuse is a is a very terrible thing. But yeah, the thing is, this this girl was with her mum. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she asked, "Is she over the age of 14? And she said, "No." 
Do you really? Sh- I don't know. I pers- well, well, I personally would have just lied to yeah, be. A- just, I mean, I mean, it's, it's glue. And if, if it's under the supervision for something that harmless, you're clearly with your family. Yeah. You're not. You're not getting high off them. It's the yeah. It's it's the under supervision of an adult. I'm sure false nails are absolutely fine. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's one for you now. All right, mate. Well, you go p- buy us a pack of falses. <laughs> to be a you can keep one for yourself if you There's want. There's definitely better ways to get high <laughs> than buying false nails. <laughs> Maybe the glue's a lot stronger. I don't know. Might be something to ask Sophie. Yeah, yeah. If you saw a USB stick lying on a parking lot floor at work, would you pick it up and stick it into your computer to see who it belongs to? Yes. No. Why? No, you absolutely don't do that. Oh. I was okay, I was okay. curious how you felt about this. Okay, all right, all right. As maybe, someone who doesn't work in IT security, maybe not my own computer. Oh, you do it in the work computer just to be safe. It's somebody else's, yeah. Because <laughs> then if it fucks up, it's not you, your you shit. Sh- that's getting you fucked. should not do that. That is that's an absolute no no. Though, actually, ooh, loophole. Bear in mind, I'm not an IT professional. This is just me assuming this would be okay. Okay. Put it in a Linux or Apple machine. Ah. Because most viruses only really work on Windows. Yeah. So if you've got a Mac, pop it in there. Yeah, that's or, it. Like... Or I've just told you to brick a very expensive computer. <laughs> <laughs> the choice is yours. <laughs> well, you bought a Mac, you deserve it anyway. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> let's, let's not alienate any of our listeners. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you were going to do that, you would absolutely <laughs> have to have a burner PC, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you would. Okay, <laughs> this, this this one's going to set you off. Right, okay. Do scientists really expect us to believe that the ISS has enough energy to soar at 17,000 miles an hour with infrequent refueling while we can't even make batteries that last a couple of days in cars? <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> last I checked, car batteries weren't charged using fucking gravity. <laughs> yeah. And also, it's in space. Like, yeah, it doesn't need anything to keep it up. It just spins. This, this is this is the thing. The, like, ISS, the it, ISS doesn't even have an engine, does it? It it has like positioning thrusters. Okay, other than that, yeah, that's basics. That's, you don't need that. <laughs> it's in the vacuum of space. You yeah. can you could literally give it a push. <laughs> yeah. Set it off travelling at five mile an yeah. hour, and it will travel at five mile an hour forever. Well, the, the top response is... Oh, I should add, this person's profile picture is, you know... Um, have you seen Madman? Oh. Do you know um, John Hamm when he's sat there with the whiskey looking smug? Oh, okay. It's yeah. that picture. <laughs> That's the person who asked them. <laughs> he's like, oh, the scientists really believe them. <laughs> um, I do feel that need to check my atheists at yeah. the bottom of it. <laughs> um, the top response I'm not even going to open the full thing just says no scientists don't expect anything from in- ignorant dumb fucks like you who can't be bothered to learn basic <laughs> physics <laughs> <sighs> to be fair I do I have something which I say at work when I get pissed off at the printer oh god oh printers are evil they're yeah. the devil's work and that's we live in an age where we can transmit instructions and receive data from space probes which are trillions of miles away. Yet why can't I send a document across the room to my printer without it fucking up? It is my opinion that printers have got worse. Yeah. As technology has advanced, te- printers have got worse. Yes. I. Why is... Nick, you're big on the whole vintage car community. Yes. Why isn't there a vintage printer community? Honestly, there probably is. Oh, mate. Hang on. Let me get a new tab open. Uh, go on Facebook and search Electro Tat. I don't want to do that. Uh, and basically, there are people out there who have old TVs, computer equipment, reel-to-reel tape recorders, um, stuff that doesn't really... Even stuff like microwaves, vacuum cleaners. They've all got a following. Just if it's old and interesting, people will want to take it apart and make it work again. I'm not seeing any vintage printer communities, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which is a shame, because I'd love an old printer, because the printer I bought, it worked twice and has just given up. Hmm. I hate printers. Yeah, I, I don't trust things. Everyone I know in tech just stays away from printers. <laughs> like, I have friends who are like really good programmers, very talented people. 
cannot fix princes. Yeah. And will refuse to try and fix princes. They may even have a big stick which they keep aside for when their own princess Just to hit the prince on. Absolutely. Yeah. User Buff Gaming has asked, do you want to play another game? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, I quite like this one we're playing now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to Starfield, but... <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. Other than that, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'd like to play Test Drive Unlimited again. That'd be quite nice. Yeah. But, yeah. So there's one here. We've answered that one. What's the nastiest thing to have ever been implied in a video game? Oh. So the example that this, the top answer has gone for is from Fallout New Vegas. Okay. And it's Mr. House and just how he lives. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I can see that. Um, I think for me, it is the plot of the game Nier. Uh, we're probably going to cover that in an episode in the near future. Okay. The near future. Ah, hey. ah, ah. <laughs> so, yeah. Comedy. I'll subscribe to us and you can hear me talk all about Nier eventually. I honestly don't have an answer for that one. No, yeah. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Oh, no, fuck. It's, it's the video game Soma. Okay. Absolutely. Um, you should play Soma. You'd like Soma. Hmm. No, I'll. you guys can research that yourselves. I don't want to go into a long, lengthy explanation yep, about what enough. Soma is. Oh, okay. Do you want to do more of these? Do you want to go back to WikiHow? What, what, what's in the mood? We can We can do a few WikiHow ones if you want. Yeah, go on. Well, let me load up the... Uh... <laughs> this one's definitely a typo, but... Is the PS5 stronger than the PS1 considerably? I can't tell if they both have the same graphics. <laughs> the top answer is, you meant the PS4, right? Because <laughs> the PS1... Oh, it definitely... <laughs> they can't tell the difference between photorealism and block people. Yeah. Now, I've, I've, I've looked at original Lara Croft, I look at current Lara Croft, and they're pretty identical, yeah, wouldn't you say? Right. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a few more angular surfaces in the old one. But... Uh, I think that was an aesthetic choice, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. yeah. That's what okay. we can't tell the difference, uh, difference uh, with. That guy from Detroit Become Human and Sean Bean from <laughs> Jogger <Jordan> Eye. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do... I just discovered you can sort Quora by categories. Oh, God. And I've discovered that in the politics section there's a subgroup called Anarchism. <laughs> okay, so you wanted to do... Um, yeah, more wiki how. Uh, yeah, you uh, you wanted to be... Uh, you wanted to be a men's advice Oh, yeah. Podcast. yeah we, we're way better than Andrew Tate. I've just searched manly Okay. in wiki how. And we have how to be manly, how to develop a manly voice, how to be a man. How to make a guy feel manly, how to seduce a man, how to romance a man, how to comfort a man. How to attract a Scorpio man as a cancer man. Okay. How to draw a man, how to be the man for your girlfriend. How to control your man. I'm, I'm curious about controlling man. I'm, <laughs> I'm curious if these would work on me or not. Okay. So method one of three, forming a healthy bond. Okay, yeah. You uh, should do that. Here we go, yeah. Uh, so let's have a look. Communicate, quality time. Learn about each other. Solid, solid. Yeah. Yeah. Offering guidance. So describe your needs, make relationship rules, set boundaries. And benefiting from a loving relation. This isn't really... I think this is WikiHow trying to sneak in good advice for people who are looking for bad advice. Yes. And like trick people into being nice. Yeah. Like there's no mind control raise here or, uh, you know sort of like step-by-step -step guides on how to gaslight or whatever. So, weirdly wholesome, this. Yeah. Do you want one that isn't going to be weirdly wholesome? Okay. So I'm still in Quora, because I just discovered dark psychology secrets. Oh, no. Now, I studied psychology at uni. I've got a master's in it. Mm. And I have here... You know, I'm, I'm just going to show you this picture, Nick, because me describing it doesn't do it justice. Cheat codes I know at 42, I wish I knew at 22. Yeah. Okay. Is that a man? Is that man shitting? <laughs> no, he's <laughs> he's in a boxing ring. <laughs> that's um, that's the bloke from Black Panther whose name I can't remember, but he's also in the new Rocky films. Okay. Um, yeah. 
good guy, big weeb. Hmm. So what do you think the cheat codes you wish you knew at 42? Sorry, what cheat codes do you wish you knew at 22, Nick? That I wish I knew at 22? Yeah. Infinite money. <laughs> yep. No, um, no clip. No clip. <laughs> Infinite charisma. Yep. Uh... <laughs> Uh, the the tank cheat is always quite useful. I, I remember the Harrier cheat. That was a good one. Yeah, you know, because well, he... no, because you could always do the flying tank cheat if I remember. Yeah, no, but who doesn't want a, a VTOL capable aircraft? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> fair point. You've convinced me. I don't know where I'd put it, but yeah. I suppose the infinite money would help with that. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> Honestly, maybe going a bit earlier than twenty two. Uh, the cheat where all women like you. <laughs> There, there is no code, because not all women want the same thing. No, this is it. So the actual ones on this list. Use workout to gain muscle. Why else would you work out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is, the whole point of working out is to stay fit and gain muscle. Like, When lifting weights, use your mind to muscle connection to increase muscle contraction. But, but your mind is... You're going to use that anyway, otherwise your muscle just wouldn't do anything. Um... Upon waking up, drink water before having coffee. To be fair, that's pretty good advice, that. Delay coffee for one to two hours upon waking up. Again, that's <laughs> that's pretty good advice. Use your nose for smelling and breathing. <laughs> Use your mouth for talking, tasting, and eating. Well, I mean, some people do that talk is, out their ass. That is what I've been doing wrong <laughs> all these years. I I've... Do. I did wonder why I, I keep these beers. I keep jamming the food in my <laughs> ear, and it's always been difficult. And now I understand. Yeah, I did wonder why you were butt chugging these beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's weird how I don't get invited to parties very often. Yeah. But I, I find the enema approach to all my drinks. I know it's fucking horrible staying at this house. <laughs> you just walk around there. He is with his ass in the air. Fucking bottle sticking out. <laughs> um, yeah, none of these feel like cheat codes to me. It's work out. Do you want this? I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I had to get that one in there. Much right. like the beer you're drinking. <laughs> right. Um, let's see what else is in Dark Psychology Secrets. Oh, so this is going to be very much um, working out male performance. I think so. Yeah, being the best that you can be. Um, All that stuff which I can't be asked to do. Like, I forgot to go to the gym yesterday. That makes it eight years on the trot. <laughs> twelve life lessons you should learn early on. See, it says twelve. I've only got five. I've got to pay to get more, I think. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no, it just takes me to... No, I can only get five. Oh, here we go. So, how to dress for an interview as a man? Oh, um, shirt. Like, is it is it for is it for a job as a man? I thought like, so. Is that your job title, man? Yeah, it's fine. What do you do? I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> yeah, this is all suits and shirts and slacks and stuff. It's what you'd expect. Though the beauty of remote work these days, you only have to worry about the top half. Yeah. Well, I've shown up to job interviews in sweatpants, and well, it's great. Yeah, this is this is it. Those of um, business at the top, <laughs> sweatpants those, at the bottom. Those of us, I've I've had literally one Zoom interview, and it was for a course I was doing for work mm. to teach me how to use the part system, which I've been using for eight months before that. But uh, yeah, that is my only experience of uh, working from home. Uh-huh. There's not that many dark psychology secrets. I'm, I'm kind of unimpressed. So here's one for you. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's how to make a man cave? Okay, oh, okay. I've got opinions on this. I know, but is it how to make a man cave? Or how oh, how to, to make, make a, a man, man cave? I've got opinions on both. I see. Uh, man cave, you want a decent gaming PC? A uh, nice little cupboardy... Al- I've got a great man cave upstairs. Mm. Um... I've got a little flight joystick for Elite Dangerous and other flight sims. Yeah. Got a little sofa bed to read on. Uh, Then I've got the recording studio next to us. I'm very proud of my man cave. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. My man cave is outside the house in my garage. Yes. So tools, radio, uh, project I can tinker with, Mm -hmm. uh, 
maybe if I could fit one in there, I would have like a chair for when I just want to sit and read. You should get a chair. Yeah, selection of books on mm-hmm. mechanical subjects, hands manuals, parts books, that sort of thing. How to make a man cave. Keep showing him the end of the Iron Giant. Yeah. Because that, that gets me every time. Yeah, that's yeah, sad film. rather sad film. Yeah. Yeah. If I ever need to cry on command, I just think about the Iron Giant. We're, like, weirdly wholesome. I was. Oh, lovely film. Yeah, talking about, like, psychological manipulation. <laughs> oh, well, if you just force me to think about the Iron Giant, it will probably make me cave. Yeah, that's, yeah, fair enough. You just wanted to be, like, super bad. <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, dear. Do you need a minute? I'm okay. I can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh, how to get rid of man boobs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's useful. Please tell. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been, well, I say I've been trying for years. <laughs> man boobs, also called moobs, are the result mm-hmm. of excess fatty or glandular tissue in men's, or in a man's breast area. Now, be proud of your man boobs, like a set of boobs that you can take home afterwards. <laughs> you know. Yeah, actually, yeah, love your body, no matter what shape it is. Yeah, yeah. But if you're not happy, then by all means change it. Oh, yeah. We will support you, whatever you, mm-hmm. uh, whatever you decide. Exactly. It's important to love yourself regardless. It is. Okay, so, is that right? (laughs) Was Trump the first orange president? (laughs) Okay, right, here we go. So, WikiHow random generator. Oh. Random WikiHow gem. Yeah, I'm going over to WikiHow. Friendship ended with Cora. I made a random WikiHow generator. Let's see if it's back up. Oh, so it's not out, but someone has created... Wait. Someone has recreated what used to be my favourite website. Mm-hmm. So we're on a timer when we open this. We've got five minutes. Right. This is Steakhouse or Gay Bar. Oh, okay. Elways. Steakhouse. Okay. Uh, yep. Tavern on Carmack. Tavern on Carmack. Yeah. I think that's a gay bar. Ooh. I'm going to go Steakhouse. Okay. I'm putting in gay bar. Okay. Freddy's. <laughs> Freddy's. I think it's too gay to be a gay bar. Oh, I think, I, let me just I think that's a steakhouse. So we've we've been even evenly split so far. The Velvet Hammer. That's a gay bar. Yeah. That's a steakhouse. It's a steakhouse. No, really. Yeah. The Tally Ho Tavern. That's I think anything with tavern in the name is probably steakhouse. The Tally Ho. Oh, I'm putting steakhouse. Wrong gay bar. It's a gay bar. Wow. Okay. BLT Prime. That's a steakhouse. It's got to be a gay bar. It's got to be a steakhouse. <laughs> Fine, steak. It is. Yep, steakhouse. Yeah, BLT Prime ribs. Duke of Wellington. The Duke of there. There is a, I, a pub called the Duke of Wellington in Cottingham. I suspect there is more than one. There's probably both a gay bar and a steakhouse called the Duke, of Wellington. Duke of Wellington. I'm gonna go. Yep, gay bar. Gay bar. There we go. One six eight York Street. Steakhouse. Gay bar. Oh, okay. Ben and Jacks. That's a steakhouse. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. Remington's. Gay bar. Yeah. Hole in the wall. They write themselves these, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough one. Yeah. I think I think gay bar. I think steakhouse. I was right, gay bar. Oh. Dickie Brennan's. Steakhouse, come on. Yep, steakhouse. Yeah, yeah. Stockyards restaurant. It says restaurant. Yeah. St- oh, yep, steakhouse. I was going to say, that, that would have been a really, really clever red herring there. Okay, so Texas Grill... But it's spelt with a Z. Texas. Texas Grill. That's Ram Ranch. <laughs> 15 cow. It's, it's a steakhouse. It's a steakhouse. It was a steakhouse. <laughs> Cash in country. Gay bar. Correct. Yep. Woody's. Gay bar. See, I think steakhouse. Ooh. It could, it could go either way, though. I'm going to go ste- Oh, gay bar. Gay bar. Claim jumper. Claim jumper. That feels like a gay bar. Claim jumper? No, claim. As in, I stake this claim. I'm going to go steakhouse. Okay. Oh, you're right. The Wrangler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's a cowboy gay bar. Same. Yeah. Uh, correct. Yeah. Stonewall, that's a gay bar. That's a gay bar. It's a famous one. Magic Castle. The gay bar. Oh, that's a steakhouse. <laughs> the Magic Castle. I know, house. right? Bastille. Now that get. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to go steakhouse on that one. Okay. You're wrong, gay bar. Oh, okay. Wagon Yard. Wagon Yard. Steakhouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Excelsior. That's a D&D club. Yeah. Yeah. It's the name of... Ah! I'm going to go gay bar because it's the name of uh, 
Sulu's first command okay. from from Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. And I'm right, it's Gabar. Fair enough. La Cabana. La Cabana. Mm-hmm. Gabar. Wrong steakhouse. The Cabana Steakhouse. Yeah, Madison Pub. I'm going to guess gay bar. I think that's two steakhouse. You're correct. Steakhouse. Juicy Lucy's. Juicy Lucy's the steakhouse. Yeah. Yep. Envy. Gay bar. Wrong. Steakhouse. Really? Envy <laughs> yeah. Steakhouse? Yep. The Brazen Head. I think that's two on the nose to be a gay bar. Yeah. yeah. And we're right. Yep. Hind Quarter. Steakhouse. Correct. Yep. <laughs> the Townhouse. Gay bar. Also correct. We're getting good at this. Yeah, we are, yeah. Charlie Brown's. Steakhouse, I think. Correct. Triple George. I still think Steakhouse. Um, yeah. Yeah. Knock. Got to be a gay bar. Gay bar, yeah. Yep. Silver Rail. We've got ten seconds left. Think fast. Silver Rail. Uh, gay bar. Gay bar. Correct. Switch. Gay bar. Gay bar. Oh, wrong. Steakhouse. Stab. Switch Steakhouse. <sighs> we got 57 correct. Out of what? Um, Out of all the ones we did. <laughs> it doesn't tell you. No, well, we didn't answer all the questions. We ran out of time. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> That's a difficult one. It is, yeah. Yeah, that was quite interesting, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. This this site's pretty good. I'll, I'm going to... Re- this is Sporkle.com. Yeah. I'll remember this for next time we're stuck on something. Yeah, for when we need... Um, content. When we need filler content. Yeah. Like <laughs> today. Yeah, like I'll today. S- I'll see if there's anything else on here that's worth doing. Oh, they're all timed. That's the tough bit. Hmm. Sports logos. We could do fi- finish the Taylor Swift song title. I've, right. <laughs> I know. I I don't know anything either. No. I the 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 thing is, I think I probably would. Oh. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, the, there's there's two people at my work who I work with, um, who are both Swifties, both oh, okay T Swizzle fans, and like I some I do have like a, a talent for retaining song lyrics and you've, titles. You've gained swizzle knowledge. Yeah. Okay. I mean, to be fair, it's not the worst thing we could listen to all day. That's very true. Yeah. She does have a, a talent for mm-hmm. writing songs about breakups, does uh, T-Swizz. She sure does. So, yeah. What I hear. So, yeah, I, I don't particularly want to embarrass myself. So, so what we're learning today is that Nick is a Swifty. Uh, a Swifty by proxy. You heard it here first, listeners. <laughs> Nick... The secret Taylor Swift. I'm gonna I'm gonna message Grace, see what she thinks about Taylor Swift. Yeah, so it's, it's Swifty by proxy, you know, because like I w- I didn't really go out and seek the music. The the music came to me. What would you say is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Uh, Blank Space is good. Okay. Um. Oh, what's that recent one? Antihero. Like Antihero. That's quite good. That's quite sad, mel- melancholy. I have no opinion. I've no. I don't know any of them. <laughs> I listen to hipster nonsense all day long. Oh, I, I listen to all sorts. Oh. But, yeah. Okay, I feel like that's probably all we've got time for. Because the recording has been going for a fair bit. Yeah, I've we've dropped my um, glasses on the floor. We've, we've, f- yeah, we've got enough filler content here. Absolutely. That James is just going to go upstairs now and post the raw. I'm not going to post the raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wait till tomorrow when I've sobered up a little bit. Hmm. Have a listen. If there's anything we shouldn't have done, done or said, yeah, apologies, we're not on our usual schedule. We'll be back to Spy Family very shortly. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to stick to anime content for a bit. Yeah. Anime and video games. If you want somebody to blame for this blip in our schedule... Blame Bob Iger, CEO of Disney. Yeah, you can blame him. Fuck him. Uh, you can also blame... Um... Oh, yeah. sorry, the blip in the schedule. Oh, blame Grace. Yeah, we can blame Grace for... Ah, don't holiday. blame Grace. Um, we can blame... Uh, we can blame the c- whoever's the CEO of the car company that I work for. Mm-hmm. Um, Bob Iger. Is he? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you should just blame Bob Iger. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, for, for requiring a, a piece of paper to say that I can... I'm competent at the job I've been doing for 12 years. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, probably Jeff Bezos' fault somewhere. Yeah, somewhere down the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And blame Boris Johnson and oh, absolutely. And fucking Brexit and you know, this is Brexit's <laughs> fault. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we didn't put out a proper episode today 
It was Brexit. Yeah. Brexit. Yeah. Fucking yep. Boris Johnson. Probably Boris Johnson. Yeah. He didn't hand in his texts when he was supposed to. Yeah. Nigel Farage. Oh. Donald Trump. They, did you hear they got rid of? They cut him off from his bank account. <laughs> they, they did. Yeah. I find that quite funny. Yeah, because he was with yeah. like a posh elite bank that for posh elite people, and they were like, "Nah, mate. Yeah. Do one." <laughs> I, I do like that. It's like, oh, look, it's the consequences of your actions. Yeah. Yeah. I do like it when that happens. Mm. But yeah, uh, that's enough politics for one day. Um, if you liked this, maybe we'll chat shit more often. Yeah. Uh, you can join us on Patreon if you want. It's a pound. It'll help keep us in our drinking habits. Um, oh, you get content early, usually, when we when we are on our schedule. You also get to talk to us. You also get to talk to us, which hopefully this episode may have um, enlightened you as to what talking to us is like. What me and James get like when we're <laughs> we've left, had a few left drinks to our own devices. Oh God, Grace, <laughs> we need you. <laughs> we can't do this alone. Oh, well, I definitely can't. That's just not the thing. Yeah, that mic stand has nearly come off that table several times. Absolutely. Well, it's been fun. Mm. We hope to hear from you in two weeks. Good night. Good night.